friends, brothers, sisters, everybody. Welcome to Rubbish Beer Reviews for yet another Rubbish Beer Review. Now, I've got some exciting news. Uh, as of this Rubbish Beer Review, I'm going to be adding a new feature. Let me explain. So if you uh, watched, if you watched my uh, beer reviews recently, I did mention that in the past, sometimes before doing a beer review, I would have a little, do a bit of research on the particular beer itself, um, so I kind of knew what I was drinking. But I, I did then say that I don't do that anymore, as I want to kind of judge for myself without reading uh, reviews as to whether it's a good beer or a bad beer, an average beer. And what I'm going to be doing is, um, after every beer review, so it's like I said, starting from today, I'm going to then go onto my laptop and um, have a look at some reviews for the beer that I've just reviewed and see if it matches what I've been saying. Obviously everybody has their own opinion um, on taste of beers. But I mean if everyone's saying it's a fantastic beer, the chances are it's a fantastic beer. Uh, if one says it's a rubbish beer, chances are it's a rubbish beer. Um, so it's just going to be interesting to see how kind of, I don't know, how kind of people agree, if I, if I agree with uh, the general public or whether I don't know. We don't have differences in opinion. Okay, now today's um, rubbish beer review is for me quite an interesting one, but although I say that, it's not, I'm not particularly looking forward to it. Let me introduce the beer. It's called um, Sombrero, it's a French beer, and uh, it's got a, what's it like, a Mexican style design and it's got a tequila taste to it you can see here so it's a beer with a tequila flavor <clears throat> the reason I say I'm not looking forward to it is because I don't like tequila which kind of makes sense I'm not, gonna, I'm not really looking forward to it um, but what can you do you know I want to try as many beers as I can to show you um, you know the beers that I'm trying so for me it's irrelevant whether I you know whether I like it or not I have to go out there and, and review it. it it may be all right I don't know um, it's quite a, probably say it's a bit of a budget beer maybe, I just, I bought it actually in the shop just to, you might be able to see it here, it's a red building, it's an off license we've got just across the road here, it hasn't got a very good selection actually to be fair, uh, it's more of a kind of a wine shop I think, the beer selection's a bit, a bit iffy, but yeah I did find this in there, although I've actually just seen it in Aldi as well when I was shopping there, um, so which like I said suggests it's a budget beer. Okay, enough of me rambling on. Let's crack on. So it comes in at 5.9%. That smells like lemon and lime. First thing I'd say there. Which if it does taste like lemon and lime, probably wouldn't be too bad. I remember being in Mexico uh, 10 years ago, I think it was, during the 2006 World Cup uh, in Germany. And we were knocking back um, with my mates, um, these shots of tequila, mostly vile stuff, it really is. I do need to buy a new beer glass because this is uh, too small. I stupidly left the one uh, in Kazakhstan behind, I forgot to bring it. Okay, so just before I drink it quickly, sorry to keep rambling on here, this is from the Bratis, uh, Brasserie Saint Omar. Well, I always thought brasserie meant like restaurant, but I don't know, it means brewery, presumably. Let's give it a go. Yeah, kind of limey. I'd say it smells very limey. It doesn't smell like a standard beer at all. It just smells of lime. Let's see what it tastes like. Right, that's... Um, Completely different to any beer I've ever tried before. I think that's uh, fair to say. Um, on that first kind of sip there, um, yeah, didn't go down too well. Let's give it another go. The thing is, I don't really know what the taste of tequila is. Like I said, I did drink it 10 years ago. I was knocking back shots. 
Um, not really sure if it tastes like tequila or not. I'd say it tastes more like lime, to be honest. Um, it was a kind of nasty, uh, kind of very bitter aftertaste going on there in my mouth at the end there. I don't particularly like it. Yeah, so far I'm finding this not a very pleasant drink. Yeah, there's that real kind of horrible aftertaste, bitter aftertaste going on, which I just don't, I don't see what, how it can be a good thing at all. Um, yeah, it's a kind of limey, maybe um, spirit, spirity kind of taste. Um, I don't know, I, I struggle to see how anyone could enjoy this personally. I, mean, I just don't know why anyone would drink this. It's not dreadful, but it's really not good. It's really not good at all. It's certainly different, I'll give it that. That aftertaste, that bitterness is really coming through each time I, I knock a you know bit of this back, which I really don't like. Yeah, I don't particularly want to drink this. Um, I probably will, I'll probably drink it a bit later. Um, in terms of ratings, just have a quick think. I'm gonna give it a two out of a two out of ten. It's yeah, it's, it's really not good at all. But I was expecting that. You know, I didn't think I'd like this with a tequila flavour. Um, yeah, it's just too harsh there on the it'd be aftertaste. The taste is unpleasant. Um, I've drunk worse beers, but this is bad. This is two out of ten for the um, sombrero uh, beer from France. Okay, so um, I've just had a quick look on ratebeer.com, and I think I've done a pretty good job reviewing this. Um, it's got a really low rating. It comes in at a rating of two. I believe the ratings are, I think, at about 100, so that's obviously really low. And the general consensus is, I mean, there's so many reviews on here, is that um, it's a lemony lime taste, which I, I did mention. Someone said it smells like Sprite. I did say at the beginning when I smelled it, it did smell uh, very limey. Um, okay, they say it's sweet and sugary. That's something I, I failed to mention. And yeah, it's just... So it barely tastes of tequila, more of a kind of lime, lemony taste, and not recommended. So I'm happy with this beer review. I think I've done a pretty good job. Um, yeah, give this one a miss, the sombrero. Really not good stuff. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you again soon.